How Topspin Become Volleybot The Wreckers are an Autobot combat unit in the Generation 1 continuity family. They are a special task force, generally composed of the best and the toughest die-hard fighters around. In Transformers Dark of the Moon they help Optimus and humans in Battle of Chicago. Wreckers combat and intelligence skills is really an advantage for Optimus to win the Chicago War. But after the Chicago War they were killed by Cemetery Wind and Lockdown. Top Spin and Roadbuster was happened off screen but Leadfoot ambush footage was seen in Transformers Age of Extinction. It's clearly shown that Leadfoot was killed that time when Cade accidentally replay the footage found on KESI camera. After the Age of Extinction we all know that Wreckers was killed not until when the last night happened. They show us Volleybot together with Simon, which we clearly see that he is Topspin with Leadfoot's head. So why Topspin able to survive the ambush? And why he has Leadfoot's head? I have actually theory for this and let me share it to you. Some of the theory says Topspin survived and he used Leadfoot's head as a mask for honor to his friend. Which I think is impossible because as we all know Topspin don't talk in Dark of the Moon and Volleybot is a talkative type of Autobot. So this my thought for what really happened to the Wreckers. After the ambush they split into four groups. Simmons and Ratchet, the Wreckers, Optimus, and Bumblebee. Cemetery Wind didn't stop to hunt them until they find the Wreckers. In the footage we can hear Leadfoot saying this words. I'm an Autobot. He is saying I am Autobot. It means that he is all alone that time. So where's is the two other members? I'm pretty sure that time they were hunt by Cemetery Wind. Roadbuster and Topspin was killed but Leadfoot escaped and tried to run but he was caught. Upon chasing Leadfoot they thought they kill the other two wreckers but instead one of the wreckers was just seriously damaged but not killed. So the real question did Topspin fix himself using the parts of his own friends? The answer is no, Topspin was actually seriously damaged that time and he can't even able to move. Not until Ratchet finds him. Ratchet and Simmons finds a dying Topspin and Ratchet decided to fix him. But since Topspin was almost slaughtered that time he needs a extra parts to fix him. And Ratchet use his two friends and combine the wreckers into one. And now Topspin has Leadfoot's head and Roadbuster's arms. After Ratchet created Volleybot he decided find Optimus alone. Since it is too dangerous for Simmons to continue. After they split, Simmons and Volleybot finds a safe place where Cemetery Wind will not find them. While Ratchet still looking for damage Optimus until he was caught by the Cemetery Winds. Thank you for watching and support me on my YouTube channel.